We're doing it now. Breaking news, everyone. Glad you're with me. Are you serious? Things are getting very, very dangerous in the Middle East. There is movement. There is things taking place as we speak. And uh, let me tell you all about it. First, I'm going to put a shout out real fast for everybody that's not saved. Every person on the planet, everyone that hears this video, if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, you need to consider doing it now. We are so close to the rapture. We've never been this close. I don't know the day or the hour that the Lord is coming, but the prophecies in the Bible, and we wrote about even here in our book, Revelation 9-11, tells us that we are on the brink of the beast. We're on the edge of eternity. We're in the apocalyptic hour, really. Something biblical is definitely going on with the signs of the second coming, second coming of Christ. I want you to know right now that God loves you. And you can be saved and be filled with the joy and take away all that anxiety and all that uh, concern and, uh, and, and that feeling of not knowing where you're saved or lost. That can go away today. Just give your life to Jesus Christ. Let him come into your heart. Repent of your sins and be born again. And get ready for the coming of the Lord. All right? All right. Taliban members mark the third anniversary of the United States' withdrawal from Afghanistan by parading through Bagram Airfield, a former U.S. airbase, with American weapons and vehicles that were left behind. The parade featured uniformed soldiers, Taliban flags, and speeches from their leaders. It was seen as a demonstration from the Taliban's strength and a reminder of the U.S. failure in Afghanistan. Critics like U.S. Army veteran Bill Roggio argue that the Biden administration's rapid pullout allowed the Taliban to acquire a significant American-supplied arsenal, Fox News has reported. Despite their show of force, the Taliban remains unrecognized as Afghanistan's legitimate government, and the country's people continue to suffer from instability and hardship. Archaeologists in northwestern England have uncovered a beautifully preserved Roman mosaic in Warwickster, once the fourth largest city in Roman Britain. The mosaic, featuring vibrant colors and images of fish and dolphins, was likely part of a wealthy individual's dining room designed to impress guests. This is the first mosaic found at Warwickster since the year 1859. The mosaic's preservation is attributed to being buried under building debris which protected it over the centuries. The excavation also revealed a small shrine or mausoleum and a large mysterious building, CNN has reported. Now these discoveries add to the rich history of War Exeter, a city founded in the mid-first century that has remained well preserved due to its rural location. the future of the U.S. economy. With so much uncertainty in the air, it's natural, it's natural to fret about the security of your retirement savings. But there's one asset that stands the test of time, gold. It's a biblical currency. And for centuries, gold has been a hedge against market volatility and economic instability. With a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investments, if you go to www.pastorpaulgold.com, that's www.pastorpaulgold.com, you can harness the power of precious metals to help protect your financial future by rolling over your existing IRA or your 401k into a self-directed gold IRA. You can enjoy the potential for long-term growth and stability. Diversify your portfolio with tangible asset that has real value, gold. Setting up your gold IRA has never been easier. And at www.pastorpaulgold.com, they will help streamline the process with expert guidance. And in this election year, 
Don't let the election volatility and the uncertainties of the Middle East and other factors keep you up at night. Vote for the timeless safety of gold and silver in 2024. Noble Gold Investments. They will give you up to 10 of these. Now, this is unbelievable. You could get 10, if you qualify, 10 of these beautiful one-ounce pure silver Donald coin, Donald Trump coin, one-ounce pure silver. You could get 10 of these, or you could just get this 10-ounce silver bar of the American flag. All of it could be yours. Get one of these. Be blessed. Just go to www.pastorpaulgold.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. You'll be glad you did. Around four months after a hacking group claimed to have stolen sensitive personal data from a major data broker, a member of the group has reportedly released most of it for free on an online marketplace. The breach, which includes social security numbers and other sensitive information, poses significant risks for identity theft and fraud. This is according to Teresa Murray, a consumer watchdog director. The group, USDOD, had previously claimed to have stolen records of 2.9 billion people from the national public data. Last week, a group member offered the full NPD database containing 2.7 billion records with names, addresses, birth dates, and social security numbers. While some key details like email addresses and driver's license photos were missing, the leaked data still poses serious risks, as it can be used to take over accounts and commit fraud, the Los Angeles Times has reported. National Public Data has not formally notified affected individuals, but claims to have purged its database in response to the breach.